Hey guys, welcome back to another one. This is Crypto Elite, home to the number one Theta community. And if you like this content, please like and subscribe to the channel. And you can find me on Theta TV as well. All right, guys, in today's video, I am going to be talking about an update we got recently, and this is from Mark Cuban. So this is more about the uh, overall crypto environment, but I do think that it does involve Theta as well. So his words, we'll kind of talk about that through this Coin Telegraph article that came out, and then um, just you know compare it to Theta and how potentially, the, I think there is a way, but Theta could lead the charge of this. So hear me out. So bear market will last until crypto apps are actually useful, which I don't disagree with those words whatsoever. Um, there's no reason for people to go out and purchase crypto right now, any asset whatsoever, because everything is just crashing uh, from the S&P 500, the NASDAQ, the crypto market. Uh, real estate is starting to cool down. So everything is just, you know, starting to trend lower. And there's no reason to go out and buy unless you want to continue dollar cost average, which uh, I am doing and hopefully you guys are doing as well. But, you know, your common everyday individuals, they don't see it that way. Unfortunately, they want to buy in as the momentum's going up which could be good, could be bad. But let's check out this uh, article as well. And if you're unfamiliar, Mark Cuban, he's a billionaire. He owns a basketball team. He's on Shark Tank uh, the TV show. And his words, like I said, the crypto bear market won't be over until there's a better focus on applications with utility. And uh, once again, hit the nail on the head. And uh, he also doesn't think the market has hit cheap prices yet. And if you watch any other YouTuber out there, I'm pretty sure you can agree with that. A lot of YouTubers that I've seen at least thinks BTC will get down to approximately that $14,000 level. And then uh, that might be the bottom of the, you know, the, the worst there is. And then from there, it'll just kind of fluctuate around in a big old accumulation phase until we hit the next bull run. Uh, so he, you know, is putting his money where his mouth is. So he's got 80% of his non shark tank portfolio, uh, was in crypto. And, uh, he says, like I said before, it, it lasts until there's a catalyst and that catalyst is going to be an application. Um, so just you get people out there and just like, yeah, I actually, you know, kind of like Amazon, yeah, I'll put some money in Amazon. That seems like a pretty awesome company. So they could do the same with a crypto application. Like, Hey, you know, I like X, Y, Z application. I'll throw a little bit of money in that. So he believes a better focus on applications with utility will pull crypto from the slumps. And with so many people or so many apps focus on financial technology or collectibles, uh, the launch of different sort of applications would pull more people in. And once again, I don't disagree with that. Uh, from the last crypto bull run, there is nothing but, you know, decentralized finance, which is great. Um, and I'm very happy that it is out there, but you can only go so far. I mean, you can go very, very far with the financial system, but without getting, you know, your common everyday users uh, and people uh, to get on board with that, you can only go so far. So, you know, the idea that he brought out was uh, decentralized QuickBooks, which it is an idea. Um, I, I'm not so sure, sure if I agree with a decentralized QuickBooks. I I don't use QuickBooks, but I think businesses probably would want a centralized organization running something where you keep all of your uh, analytics and uh, money. But I, I see what he's getting at. You know, you do want some sort of application that brings the everyday user in. Um, so uh, he goes on to talk about like, even though things are cheap right now, um, he adds like, with lower market cap cryptos, there's still no utility. So DeFi, like I said, was very, very popular. And one of the things that was popular or that made DeFi popular was decentralized exchanges like SushiSwap. And the Sushi token is relatively cheap right now, but if no one's really using DeFi like it's meant to be used on a you know day-to-day -day basis, then yeah, it's going to continue to be cheap until people are actively using SushiSwap like uh, the S&P 500 or the NASDAQ. And it may get there, it may not get there, but that's kind of what he's getting at. And I won't touch on the rest of the article, but overall, I, I think that's kind of what he's saying. So the utility of cryptos is what is going to pull us out of 
this bear market and into that next bull run. So if we go onto coin market cap right now, this is where we can see all of the cryptos that are ranked by their market cap. Of course, BTC is the leader and then Ethereum is number two and it is the king or queen of decentralized applications right now. The main ones being um, decentralized financial apps but you know there are other applications like games that are built on it and that could be something else that pulls us um, into the next bull run alongside those other apps um, outside of that if you continue to look at you know the next couple uh, cryptos a lot of them they're smart contract cryptos which once again are you know somewhat focused on uh, DeFi and nfts and um, other things like that but it, we have to scroll down quite a bit to get to those utility tokens. And I think that is what is going to, what he was kind of aiming at, which might pull us into that next bull run. So like the internet computer, love it or hate it, but it is creating a, uh, you know, this is an internet browser, but a decentralized version of an internet browser, uh, even though it does seem very, very centralized, but, uh, it is a web three uh, internet browser. There's also Filecoin. So I think this could be something that, you know, businesses, especially if storage is a lot cheaper using a decentralized server, heck yeah, businesses will start to use it once it proves itself. So that is, you know, something that I could totally see being viable in the future. Theta Network. So what we're talking about right now, uh, and we'll go on to talk about here in a second, you know, decentralized streaming and decentralized video, that for sure, especially if you can cut the cost of centralized uh, servers like AWS, Akamai, um, and other, you know, content delivery networks, um, heck yeah, businesses would use something a fraction of the cost, even if it's not in America, but internationally, you know, where money doesn't go as far, I think they would lean towards using something like the Theta Network and Helium uh, HNT. Uh, you can create an entire 5G hotspot. And if enough people have um, run those hotspots, then you have your own 5G server, which is great. That could be, you know, as big as the U.S. or as big as however you know large you want to make it. So I think utility tokens and coins like that could potentially push us into that next bull run. So once again, we're going to focus on Theta. And uh, if you don't know, I think a lot of us do know, but it is the next generation media and entertainment focused blockchain. So the infrastructure, and that's what's important about it, is it is an infrastructure play. It enables existing video and media platforms to drive revenues and cut costs CDN costs and reward users. So it's a win, win, win uh, for their storage and bandwidth. And that's on PC, mobile, smart TV, and internet of things uh, devices. So Theta itself, like I said, it's the infrastructure. It is not a YouTube or Twitch, but it's the infrastructure that could power it. So with that being said, if and, you know, the Theta team, they have been very public about it. No, they're not a, a YouTube. No, they're not a Twitch. But someone could for sure build an application that is very similar to a YouTube or a Twitch on Theta, used a lot, utilizing the Theta blockchain. And then that could be something that takes off. So a decentralized version of YouTube, a decentralized version of TikTok, even if it's mobile, I think something like that or even a decentralized version of uh, Netflix could be a fraction of the cost. And if it's popular enough, you know, it could definitely drive, uh, it could be one of those applications that drives the next bull run. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below, but I do think that Theta has the potential to be one of those catalysts to push us into the next bull run if there's enough adoption. So I will see you guys on the next one.